Would you like to show your Garmin decal design mockups to your clients in a 3D view? Stick around for step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that. Hello and welcome back to the Go Needle channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you a new way to create a mockup design of your decal that you make in Cricut Design Space. Now you can do this starting from Cricut Design Space or Adobe Illustrator or anywhere else that you made your decal. I'm going to go ahead and upload the decal that I have made into Cricut Design Space. I'm going to use this design right here. I'll go ahead and insert it. So as you can see, this is our decal that we are going to use as a, in our mockup. So the first option is to create the traditional mockup, which is a simple 2D or flat image. In order to do this, you are going to use your design as well as a normal image of something you want to put your design on. For example, this hat right here. And once this hat loads up, there we go. The simple way to do this is, well, first of all, make sure your design is placed on top of the hat. And you can go ahead and drag this onto the hat, place it however you like, turn it, and place it wherever you'd like on the hat. However, it is simply a flat image, so it's not going to show the curves or whatever of the hat, no matter where you put it. But say you put it right here. You can use this image right here as your first mock-up, which is a simple 2D or flat image. Now, for the exciting part, we are going to show you how to make a 3D mockup of this. First of all, let's go ahead and remove the image of the cap. There we go. Now we are going to use this image. Let me go ahead and fix that. There we go. Now, we want to take this image right here and basically make the background invisible or clear because right now as you can see the background has these lines so in order to do this we are going to take a screenshot of this you can use a snapshot tool or this tool that i use called jing it is really simple all you do is click capture go ahead and hover over that part you can simply just capture image and save it however you'd like and save there we go now the next thing we want to do is you go to Google Chrome and now once you get to Google Chrome what you want to do is search for a simple free background remover such as remove.bg which is what I used it's extremely simple to remove background in any image now to do this all you have to do is upload image and select the image we say just 2020 image and that right back here once you go back here as you can see the background has been removed which is what these gray and white squares mean now simply just download it save it however you like and once you save it you're going to want to open up Adobe Dimension now this is Adobe Dimension right here it is an extremely simple 3d tool that you can use to create a 3d mock-up now, in Adobe Dimension, there are columns on the left, middle, and right. I'll get into all of them in detail, such as this starter assets, which has models, materials, lighting, and images. They're all simple tools we'll get to. And on the right, there is editing, so editing panels, and in the middle is exactly where you will see your mock-up. Now, in order to start, we need to create or add in a 3D model to use. You can use one of the free ones that Adobe comes with, but if you want, you can even download your own 3D model. Now, in order to do that, you want to go to Google Chrome again, Google Chrome, and go into a website such as sketchfeed.com. Now, sketchfeed.com is where you can find multiple free 3D models to download. Now I selected this simple baseball cap right here. <coughs> it 
it is a free file that I can download. There are some files that you might need to pay for and others you might need to check the liability and others you need to check the licensing. Now this one is a simple free file that I can use. All you have to do is click download 3D model. You want to save it as a auto converted format so that you can use it in Adobe Dimension. Just go ahead and click download and save it however you like. It'll save as a compressed zip folder. <coughs> Just go ahead and let that download. And once it completes downloading, you want to open it up, show it in your folder. And since it is compressed, you want to export it. I'll show you exactly what that means in a couple seconds there we go we can go ahead and show in folder it shows up right here all you have to do is right click it and select extract all simply extract it and well I already downloaded this but once you do once you click extract it'll go ahead and extract it and save it just as it was I saved it right here as baseball cap it's the exact same file when you open it up it'll show you these three files now this is the one you want to use 3d object this is what you're going to use when you go into Adobe Dimension once you get into Adobe Dimension you are going to want to import that image that you just downloaded in order to do that you're going to go to the top right here and select the little plus icon and select import your content go ahead and click 3d model now go ahead and locate that folder and select the 3d object file open it up let it import in there we go once it is imported you can see the image right here it's going to pop up in the 3d plane as a 3d image now you can go ahead and rotate it however you'd like take a look around zoom in zoom out just how you want now as you can see it is sort of under the ground and you can fix this really easily all you have to do is go to the right side you can find the position where it says Y just change whatever number it is to zero so you click that it'll pop up right back up to the surface now here we have our hat What we want to do now is bring that file, you know, the background removed file, and put it onto the hat. In order to do that, first we need to select which part of the hat we want it to go on, whether it's the actual hat part or this area. In order to do that, you are going to the right side and open up these folders with the C. In. There might be many, there might be a few, and simply scroll down and figure out exactly where the area is that you want to attach the file to. Ours is the main cap as you can see that part is highlighted right here there we go and go ahead and double click into there now this cap part has been selected so from here we're going to go back up to the exact same area the little plus icon import content but instead we're going to select place a graphic on model from here we are going to find that file that we used um one of one of these I'm sure it's the right one there we go we can import it here we go and now your decal is on a 3d model you can go ahead and resize this however you like rotate it and as you can see if you move it around it is actually on the hat you can see how it adjusts as you move it around it rotates and curves into the hat. Now if you want to make this mock-up look nicer, you can simply add a background. Now the most simple background to use by far is if you go over here up to images, you can select the table, which is really good for mock-ups. Now obviously it is a little bit off, so all you have to do for that is select match image, and once it loads up you can click OK and it will adjust it so that 
the cap and the environment is aligned. There we go, it is technically aligned, however if you zoom it in, as you can see, it is a little bit too big. You can fix this easily by tapping on the hat, going over to the right, and adjusting the scale. You want to make sure it's locked so that it scales proportionately. Just go ahead and make it a little bit smaller. There we go. Now you can see this hat is sitting directly on this table in a 3D way. Now if you want you can change this any other way but I think I like how this looks right now. You have the hat sitting on the table, you have the decal sitting on the hat. Now from here simply you can save this image as it is and to do that all you have to do is go to the top and click render. And once it comes up here, you're going to want to select your file name, quality, format, whichever you need. I'll change the file name to 2020 hat. And you can use it as a PNG or a PSD, whichever one you want to use to show to your clients. And go ahead and select render. And here we go. Here is the rendered version of our decal on a product. As you can see, this is the full 3D mockup. Now, doesn't this look so much better viewing this in a complete 3D view than on a boring flat mockup? If you're doing garment personalization as a business, I can assure you this method is going to make your clients extremely impressed and will totally help grow your sales. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our channel for more how to videos or cool tips like this about heat transfer vinyl. Thank you.